You stay talking about the Swiss, so I mean, I don't know, bro. You stay. Where my boy Jit Where my boy Jit at? Because you bogus, bro. You get a violation, bro. You're going to be the first one in the middle to get a violation. Press me too hard, bro. And I feel like, bro. I'll press you, all right? You want like, me to press I you? Because I know how you come in, gang. You feel me? And it's like, you, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like. You feel like what? You feel like what? <laughs> Hold on, man. I didn't mean to laugh, but look, man, this is, a, this is an important topic, right? If you don't know, it's a trend right now on YouTube for active gang members, former gang members, to basically just tell their stories from their past. And they tell stories about old fights. They talk, they t they talk about general gangbanging stuff from years and years ago. And they get paid from it, and a lot of people are interested in their stories because it's very interesting. Now, this is a situation that many people thought would happen somebody's going to get upset about one of these stories they're going to feel like it's not true and they're going to react aggressively to the person who created the content they're not they're not going to look at that person as a content creator on youtube they're going to say hey you and i were in the streets together and you're telling this story about me getting beat up and, and it could lead to a, a violent encounter you understand what i'm saying so this is the danger of active gang members really you know speaking about gang politics you know, something like this guy right here, he, the guy at the bottom, he just came home. You know, he's been in the feds for years and years. And he comes home, and I guess people are sending him clips of this guy who's a YouTube content creator. He tells stories about, you know, life in a Chicago gang. I guess he heard, he, he was sent a clip of him talking about a fight. And apparently he came out on a losing end, according to his story. And the guy at the bottom does not appreciate that. And he's letting him know that, hey, I'm angry about the fact that you you know, said that I lost this fight. Now, like I said, man, this is, uh, it, you got to walk on eggshells when you're an active gang member and you're talking about gang politics, man. So if you guys are out there doing that, take your time. Try not to, uh, you know, put people's names out there and stuff like that because it could lead to a situation like this.